And how many people have we heard they say, "Boy, I feel lighter. I feel better after mass. I can't explain it." Well, if you could see, you could understand it. You, when you come in, there's an ugly monkey on your back, and when you leave, he's gone. The Eucharist demolishes evil spirits. Hello there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another video here on spiritual warfare. During this holy week, I thought it is a great idea to share what Father Jim Blunt said about the Eucharist and how the Eucharist demolishes evil spirits. Father Jim Blunt reminded us that our Bible, the Scriptures, the Word of God, they have a power, a power just by reading the Bible. You could be a demon-possessed Hindu, but when you start reading the Bible, you'll be set free. That's how powerful the Word of God is. Just reading them and hearing them begins to bring liberation to us because everybody's in the battle against the power of darkness. And just by reading the scripture, this can drive demons away. Isn't that amazing? And so, Father Jim Blunt started explaining the Holy Eucharist with the priest named Melchizedek. Let's get into it. And so there's this great priest named Melchizedek in the book of Genesis, chapter 14. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. Bread and wine, which should sound familiar to all of us. Bread and wine, several thousand years before Jesus, like a prophetic action, sort of getting ready for the Massachusetts. According to Father Jim Blunt, the Lord always gives us little pointers in our life. Little pointers that show what he's going to do with our lives. Well, here is a pointer for the whole church. Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine and being a priest of God Most High. So now the Lord's doing two things, bread and wine for the sacrament of the Eucharist administered by a priest. So he's showing you already two sacraments of the Holy Catholic Church that's coming, the Eucharist and the priesthood. And he said he blessed Abram with these words, Bless thee, Abram, by God Most High, the Creator of heaven and earth. There's only one God, by God Most High, the Creator, not one of many. There's only one God. There aren't a multiplicity of gods. This is something that the enemy has inspired in certain parts of the world. As if there were many gods, but the ultimate truth is that there's only one God. If there were many gods, none of them would be God. Because for God to be God, he has to be everything. So a priest is to bless you and bless God. When we say bless God, we really are saying praise God, praise you God. And here's what really strikes me as an exorcist. Tell me if you can see why. He says, blessed be God most high, who delivered your foes into your hand. Our God is a powerful God. He's a warrior. And he delivers our foes into our hands. And so we see in the scripture verses a really interesting connection between the bread and wine, the Eucharist, and deliverance from the evil spirit. And so tonight, those of you who are at Holy Mass, you may not realize it, but you received a deliverance at Mass, at Holy Communion. You received freedom from certain demons. And how many people have we heard, they say, boy, I feel lighter, I feel better after Mass, I can't explain it. Well, if you could see, you could understand it. You, when you come in, there's an ugly monkey on your back, and when you leave, he's gone. The Eucharist demolishes evil spirits.